Hey Ricky, how can the past few days it's been like really, really cloudy outside? I mean, it's kind of weird. It's the middle of summer. It's like really cloudy. I, I don't get it. It wasn't cloudy, cow. It was smoky. Smoky? What about that creepy bear? No, I mean, there weren't clouds covering the sky. It was smoke. Smoke? How could there be smoke covering the sky? Because there have been a bunch of wildfires recently. Wildfires? How did those happen? It was caused by over 10,000 lightning strikes. How did those happen? Because someone wouldn't stop counting! Hey, Alice. Sub, baby lamb. Um, you know, I always want to ask you something. No, baby lamb. Shrek isn't the Incredible Hulk. What? No, I wasn't going to ask that. Well, not anymore, but you're a caterpillar, right? No, baby lamb. I'm a walrus. Ha! I knew it! I knew you were a walrus! But did any of y'all believe me? No, you thought I was crazy! You thought I was Goku! But no! <laughs> it's confirmed! <laughs> I should be getting a Nobel Prize right now. No, Cal. I was being sarcastic. Well, I have no idea what kind of walrus that is, but you just proved my point. <laughs> Eisenhower, eat your freaking heart out! Okay. But yeah, I'm a caterpillar. So what? Well... How long are you gonna stay a caterpillar? I mean, you know how caterpillars are, you know, they start out as caterpillars and then then they form into a chrysalis and then they metamorphosize into something. I think they turn into butterflies and I mean, isn't that gonna happen to you eventually? You know, I never really thought of it that way until now. I guess I figured I was going to be a caterpillar for the rest of my life. But I think you should ask Belle about this, baby lamb. She's a butterfly, so she must know a lot more about this. Good idea. Belle! Belle! Hey, baby lamb, what you need? Oh, hey, Belle. I uh, wanted to ask you a question. Is it about Shrek being the Incredible Hulk? No, we already went over that. Oh, then what is it? Okay, so you're a butterfly, right? Yeah. Don't you remember when you used to be a caterpillar, you know, because don't all butterflies start as caterpillars? Yes, they do, but I don't actually remember being a caterpillar before. Seriously? You don't remember being a caterpillar? Nope, not at all. No pictures or anything. Oh, dang. Well, there's your answer, I guess. Besides, why did you ask about it? Well, you know, because I was just a caterpillar, and I figured there's going to be a time where she might change into something else. I guess I probably wasn't made to change into something else. Yeah, I guess you're right. Still though, I mean, it must suck being a caterpillar, having to just walk around with like multiple legs, having no arms and all that, and, you know, moving at a not very fast distance. Yeah, I do wish I could be just as versatile as everyone else. But I guess I have to live with who I am. The life of a walrus is a life of beauty. Embrace your inner walrus and let that blubberiness show. Cal, for the last time, she's not a walrus. Ah, don't be fooled, baby lamb. The Crab Brothers don't know squat. I know a walrus when I see it. <laughs> well, I hate to break it to you, but that walrus does not belong to you. Who said that? Oh, my. Frog! Oh my goodness, Carmen! It's an honor to meet you. I'm like your biggest fan. I've seen all of your movies, and you, you, you're, you're my idol. You're like Mickey Mouse, but with words. Uh, Cal? That's not Kermit the Frog. Sure he is. I mean, he's green. He has the face of a frog. Obviously, he's got to be Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah, if Kermit the Frog had the body of Gru. Who are you supposed to be, anyways? I am the CEO of Leapfrog. Leapfrog? 
Are you talking about that old school company that sells those preschool toys for children? Precisely. And your purple caterpillar over there belongs to me. We own the rights to her likeness. How can you own the rights to someone's looks? Besides, how can you even own Alice? Are you like her daddy or something? What? No, 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 no. Look, let me show you guys. Okay, I am super confused right now. Behold, the Alphabet Power Toy, owned by Leapfrog. Look, just because she looks similar to a product that your company owns, doesn't mean that she belongs to you. You sure about that? You know that little white spot in her collar is supposed to have the Leapfrog logo? I'm pretty sure somebody's trying to pull you off as an original character and trying to rip us off. So tell me, Alice, what's your full name? Uh, Alice Pennington? Alice Pennington. A.P. Yeah, your initials are AP, which stands for Alphabet Pal. Coincidence? I think not! Oh, come on! It's not like we ever actually called her Alphabet Pal before. Uh, about that baby lamb... Hey, baby lamb. What's wrong? Uh, hey, Alphabet Pal. Yes, an Alphabet Pal is purple, but she's also yellow, green, and a bunch of other colors. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh, hey, Alphabet Pal. Hey, baby lamb. Hi, Alphabet Pal. Where did those clips even come from? Uh, they were very old. <laughs> this is just pathetic. You even referred to her as Alphabet Pal a few times before. You know, changing her name to Alice isn't going to give you any brownie points for avoiding copyright infringement. You're gonna be mine. Sorry, but it's hard for me to take you seriously when you're literally just a frog in a suit. Oh, I'm not just intimidating. But I could get this whole entire series cancelled for trying to rip off something that Leapfrog owns. How dare you try to pass off a children's toy as an OC? Who even does that? Wait, you're gonna cancel us? Well, it was nice knowing you, Alice. No! Alice is our friend, and we can't let this happen to her. There's gotta be something we can do to sell all this. You guys really seem to care about her, don't you? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah. Without her, we are incomplete. Well, I am a bit of a softie. Okay, I'll give you guys a deal. You have 24 hours to make ours look as original and brand new as possible. Make her as distinguishable from Alphabet Pal. Gotta make sure that she looks brand new, something creative. But if you don't, then by the time the 24 hours are up, I'm gonna take Alice away, bring her to my company, and you guys won't see the lights of her ever again. You got that? Uh, yes. You got 24 hours. You guys really think you change how I look? When Alice sees her act or you get taken away. We, we don't want that to happen. The question is, how the heck are we gonna change Alice? I mean, it's not like we can force her to go see that metamorpho once in my college. If only there was a way we could magically make Alice look brand new. But how? Yeah, if only there was like a big wizard or something. <sighs> I think I just came up with an idea. I think I know who, who can help us. I don't normally like to bring up this guy, but at this point he's our only hope. Come on. Why'd you bring us here, Donnie? We are going to the house of Trumpy the Gnome. Who is that? He's one of the most powerful creatures in all of Capital City. I think he'll be able to help us with Alice's predicament. Donnie, are you sure this Trumpy guy is gonna help me become a more original character? I should hope so, Alice. I think his magic will be able to help him. But uh, it's not easy for us to trust this guy. Because there's always a catch when it comes to the spells and stuff that he makes. I'll probably try to, like, you know, negotiate with him. Just let me do the talking. Yes, what do you want? Oh, Trumpy. It's you. Ah, Daddy Dolphin. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock off the pleasantries, okay? 
we, uh, hate to say this, but we need your help. Oh, so you actually want my help? Yeah, 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 whatever, we need your help. Just, just come, come with me. Well, right. So, what exactly is going on here? Guys, let me introduce you to Trumpy the Gnome. Yes, it is I, Trumpy the Gnome. I am the best. So what exactly do you want me to do? Look, Mr. Trumpy guy or whatever, I'm a caterpillar and I just want to change into something else. I'm honestly very tired of being a caterpillar and I wish I want to be brand new, free, and original. You're a caterpillar? Why not just wait a couple months and then you can change? That's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to be a caterpillar forever. So you want to be new? Like how? I don't know. Just give me two arms, two legs, maybe some wings. I just want to look recognizable, but more original. What is the point of this? Look, basically there's this evil CEO of a toy company or something, and always happens to look a lot like one of their products. So we want to change her, her appearance to make her look more original. Otherwise they're going to take her away forever! Hmm, I see. Well, I think I can help you out with a little break of it here, Ellis. Of course, it's gonna cost you. I don't think I have that much in terms of Chuck E. Cheese tokens. No, I'm not talking about that. I just want some kind of, you know, endorsement. Danny. Yes? Say that I'm the best. What? Yeah, come on, you can trust me. I trusted you four years ago, and look what happened. Hey, they saw it coming. If anything, they have a bunch of little sheep. I say a lie. He's an actual sheep. Hey. Come on, just say it. You don't have to mean it, even though it's true. Fine. You're the best. Ha! I knew it! Thanks for stating the obvious. Oh, my ass? Come hither. I'm starting to have second thoughts. I'm not sure I can trust this weirdo. Yeah, me neither. But I don't think we have any other choice. It's either that or he won't see you again. Yeah, the least we could do is just try. <sighs> Fine. But it better be worth it. To be continued.